Hey, hi, hello. Before we start, let me just say that I was low-key tipsy while writing this and I can't decide whether this is incredibly funny or pure cringe. Um, I kind of lean towards it being funny, but my sense of humor is weird. Also, all grammar mistakes are, of course, purposely there as the characters are drunk and not because my English is utter garbage. Alright, have fun. You had gotten comfortable on Maki's bed as you went over your so-called master plan, explaining it to a dad pen strawberry blonde boy. So, in short, we're going to make Matsukawa jealous by hanging out a lot. That I don't even know what to say, that's literally the dumbest thing ever. You call that your master plan? It won't work. If it doesn't work, we can move on to stage two. Stage two. Yeah, in stage two, we're going to actively flirt with each other. Maybe get a bit more touchy. Holy shit, why Anne? He'd simply say congrats on falling for a great girl. When's the wedding? It's Matsun we're talking about. You know, there's this phrase that kinda goes like, you never know what you had until it's gone. Why Anne? I don't think that this is going to work. It will. Anyways, we're going to hang out more starting from now. Yeah, yeah, let's give it a try. A few weeks had passed since you started putting your master plan into action. For the sake of Oikawa's sanity, he too was part of the plan. You slammed your fist on Hanamaki's desk, who just raised an eyebrow. Maki, I'm going to treat you like my homework. I'll slam you on my table and do you all night long. Matsun choked on his coffee, and his ex-girlfriend, who had been straight up stalking the three of you for the past month and was currently sitting on the table across the room, went pale. Ah, that was some perfect timing if I'd say so myself, you thought. Proud for not only getting Matsukawa's attention, but also his ex's. Well, I didn't know that you liked it that way, but damn, is your name Google? Cause you have everything I've been searching for. Oh my god, can you stop it already? This is secondhand embarrassment. Shesh Matsun. Okay, but on a serious note, why N? Yeah? Recently I got some blood work done at the doctor's. I told you about it, haven't I? Wait, are you sick? I just got the results earlier. Sorry, I must have forgotten. Um, are you okay? Yeah, but the doctor said I'm suffering from a lack of vitamin U. You snorted, Matsun rolled his eyes, stalker girl cringed. Well, then let's hug so that you can get your vitamins in. You opened your arms widely, but before Maki could react, Aikawa had already jumped into your arms. Well, 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 if this isn't why Enchan. Stop bothering her, Shitikawa. Now, now, don't be so jealous, Iwa-chan. Iwa-Yuzumi just groaned as he sat on a chair, slamming his face onto Maki's desk a moment later. I hate everything and everyone today, and I can't decide if I want to punch someone in the face or if I want to be punched. Slap me, daddy. <laughs> you are done! Maki just called you daddy! Iwaizumi ignored the idiot trio, obviously consisting of you, Oikawa and Hanamaki, and proceeded to talk to Matsukawa instead. Huh? What's going on? That stupid teacher gave us some massive assignment that needs to be done by Monday. Fighting Iwaizumi-san. Why are you calling me by my last name? You're my cousin. Oh hey, Oikawa, you know what? No. What's it? I found a new gym. What are you talking about? It's called my bed. Oh, fancy. Could I get a trial before signing up? Maybe tonight? Oh wow, that's like personal training. I sincerely regret the day you've transferred schools. You could have picked every other school and yet you chose to annoy us instead. What can I say? Your every day has been blessed ever since I came to Seijo. No, it's more like my nightmare has become true. Yeah, you spend too much time with Maki. And the two of you are losing brain cells at a dangerous rate, or maybe I'm losing brain cells at this point, I can't even tell anymore. I mean, you didn't have that many brain cells to begin with, Iwa-chan. Iwa-Izumi threw a book at Oikawa. Hey, that's dangerous. Right, they're sending these dumb memes all day, every day. At least they stopped spamming the group chat with it. Yeah, now they have their own little group chat and I'm worried for their sanity if it's just the three of them. Oh, is this the smell of jealousy lingering in the air? No, I'm simply concerned. Actually, I just farted. Oh my god, Maki, ew! You tried to kick Hanamaki, but he grabbed onto Matsun's shirt, pulling him close to shield himself from your foot, and you inevitably ended up kicking Matsukawa and said, Hey, seriously? Suck it up, at least you protected your precious boyfriend. Shut up. You smiled when you noticed the way he looked at Maki, whose hand was still placed on Matsukawa's waist. This was going so much smoother than anticipated. You ever think school's been more fun ever since Yan chan transferred? She's bad for your ego. You're bad for my ego. Compliment me more, jeez. Where would I? Don't you already get enough attention from your fangirls? That's just not the same, Iwa-chan. It sort of is. Oikawa pouted. Kya, Oikawa-san, you hottie. Oikawa huffed and buried his face in your neck. Oh hey guys, my parents are gone for the weekend. Wanna stay over tonight? Actually, my friend got me some drinks and, you know, we could have a fun time together. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, why not? I've got nothing planned for the weekend anyways. Cool, what about you two? You already knew what they were going to answer. 
It was all part of your so-called master plan. Sorry, I can't make it. I'll have to work on that stupid assignment. I don't have time either. It's my mom's birthday today, so I'll be stuck in the restaurant till probably 10 or 11 p.m. Ah, uh, that sucks. Maybe next time. The school bell rang. Well, time to get back to my classroom. See you two later? Just text me once you're done with practice. Alright, bye. Bye. You freed yourself from Oikawa's arms and made your way back to your classroom. Hey, you, wait. Huh? You turned around to find yourself looking right at Matsun's ex-girlfriend. Ah, uh, you're I right? What's up? Don't what's up me. Can you stay the fuck away from my boyfriend? You're... You paused dramatically. You're what? My boyfriend, Matsukawa Ise. Stay away from him. Oh, Matsukawa-san. Isn't he gay though? I mean, he's dating Hanamaki-san and all. He's not gay, he's just making things up to... To? To... Anyway, that's none of your business. Stay away from him. Uh, don't worry, I'm not interested in him at all. Yeah, sure, then how come you're always hanging out with him? Because we're friends? Girls can't be friends with boys. Another dramatic sigh escaped your lips. Hey, you know, let me tell you something, it's my little secret. You took a step forward and were now close enough to whisper something into Aya's ear. You know, I go both ways and to be honest, I'm more interested in you than Matsukawa-san. You're pretty damn cute after all. Your fingers touched her shoulder. Aya screeched and pushed you away. What is wrong with you? Stay away from me, bitch. You just laughed and made your way back to your classroom. <laughs> Man, this is too much fun, I love messing with people. Later that day at your house, the three of you had been drinking for a while and were pretty tipsy at this point. This clearly was part of your master plan. Alright, it's time to do this now. When? Are you sure we should? Yes, Bay, I am sure. We have already moved past phase two of my master plan and things are kinda stuck at this point. What if I fuck up and he ends up hating me and then I'll be too damaged to ever find love again? Have some confidence, Bay. Maki, it's you and I against the world, it's our time to shine. Have you forgotten? Men are like a bowl of cereals. I forgot the rest of the quote, oh god. Men are like a bowl of cereals. You gotta stir them up before the flakes get soggy and sugar, there's sugar. Mix, mix, mix or else you ain't getting the sweet stuff out of them. Yeah, exactly like that. Oh my god, that sounds so wrong. You two are way too drunk. And you are by far not drunk enough, so drink up. Do you two realize that this is most likely to backfire tomorrow? Like, we don't even have an exact plan on how to deal with baby Godzilla and eyebrows. Baby Godzilla! <laughs> Godzilla-chan! Oh my god! Hey, we should call him. No, we really shouldn't. As I said, we don't have a plan. Maki, shut the fuck up and drink, jeez. You handed him another can and Maki chucked it down in defeat. Hey, Godzilla-chan! X fucking cues me. <laughs> you really called him that. What should I say? Tell him you were thinking of him. I was just thinking of you, was I was just thinking of you. Yeah, I can tell. Why do you sound so weird? Why are Wayan and Maki giggling in the background like idiots? Anyways, I just called because... Because... Hey, Wayan, what should I answer? What did we call? Oh dang, that was part of the plan, but I kind of forgot the plan. Say you missed him or something. Iwa-chan, I missed you. What the hell? Are you a parrot? Why are you just repeating after what they say? The sound of a bottle opening was heard. Ah, you're drunk. How much did you have? An offended gasp escaped Oikawa's lips. The audacity! Drunk? Me? Ridiculous! What about practice tomorrow? There's no practice tomorrow. Monday's a rest day, so yes, there's practice tomorrow. Technically speaking, it's almost midnight, which means it's almost Sunday. How about we just practice now? What? Late night spikes! Yes! Yay! Oh my god, are you all serious? We get in trouble if you practice at this time. And you'll all probably puke on the gym's floor if you run around and hit balls. You're not listening, are you? Alright, time to get sweaty. Wait, which gym are we talking about? The school's gym or... My bad. Shut the fuck up, Wayan. School now, you bet later? Oh my god, I'm so done with all of you. Okay, let's get changed then. I don't have gym clothes with me. Just go in your PJs. Alrighty, let's go, let's go, yay! You're not seriously going, are you? The school's gate is closed. Hello? Iwaizumi stared at his phone, now realizing that Oikawa had ended the call a while ago. Those fuckers. This is probably just a prank and they won't actually play volleyball in the state they're in right now. Iwaizumi groaned as he changed out of his pajamas. They're idiots. They will most likely actually flipping do it. Iwaizumi made his way downstairs. He tried balancing his phone with his shoulder, ringing Matsukawa while putting on his shoes simultaneously. What's up? 
I'm so done with it, BS. How drunk are they? The idiot trio is trying to invade the gym at school. The gym? For what? They want to practice now so that they don't have to join practice in the afternoon and can sober up instead. Ayer, sounds like something they'd come up with. I assume you're about to pick up Kawa and want me to take care of Maki. Exactly. Matsukawa sighed. Fine, let's meet at the 7-Eleven in 5 minutes. Yeah, see you later. See you. Kindaichi, did the idiot trio call you or are you an innocent bystander who got dragged into this mess by Matsukawa? I was on a run because I couldn't sleep when I bumped into Matsukawa-san and thought it would be fun to see what those three are up to. Matsun just nodded. Presumably he's got Maki on the phone right now. Yeah, I think so. What exactly is going on though? The idiot trio drank too much and is now invading school. Wait, that... How did they even get the drinks? I don't know, I don't care, I'm too tired for this. Let's just go get them and put them into their beds so they can sober the fuck up. Matsun, my man, thank you for picking me up, or should I say Matsun, my mom? <laughs> Matsukawa raised his eyebrow and looked at you. How much did he drink? I don't know, man, just a heads up, but his alcohol tolerance is pretty shit. You'd think a guy tall as him could take more than like one and a half can of Kalpa's chill highs. Bitch, it was a lot more than that, and you shouldn't be talking like that when you're just as drunk. I at least can still walk a straight line, my dude. So can I. Maki, you walked into a lamppost earlier. To my defense, I do that regularly even when not drunk. Lies! I hate to defend him here, but he really does run into lampposts rather frequently. <laughs> what an idiot. Shut up, Wan. Alright, I think it's time we all go home and get some sleep in. Iwachan, I don't have my keys with me. I... yeah. Yeah, of course you don't have your keys. My keys at Wyan's. Okay, how about we do this? Kawa sleeps over at my place and you take Maki in for tonight. Yeah, alright. Letting them stay with Wyan for tonight just raises so many red flags. They'd probably set the house on fire if we left them alone. I agree. Sorry, Kendaichi, but can you bring Wyan back home? I don't want her to walk home alone. It's pretty late already, but her house is kind of far from my place. And I have to take care of Kawa, so... Yeah, sure, I'll bring her back home. Thanks, man. Just don't let her talk you into drinking with her later. Alright, see you tomorrow then. Bye! Be quiet, you'll wake up the entire neighborhood. You're mean. Can we buy ice cream before going home? Iwaizumi waved you and Kindaichi goodbye. Oikawa had been in the middle of a staring contest with the floor for the past five minutes, purposely ignoring Iwaizumi just to set him off. Hey, Shitikawa, on a skate off from 1 to 10, how drunk are you right now? Aikawa only huffed and continued to stare at the floor. I see, so we're being childish now, huh? I'll bring you some water, wait a second. Hey, Shiti Iwa, on a scale of from 1 to 10, how much do you hate me? What? I wanna know how much you hate me. I don't hate you, why do you even think that? Is it because I call you stupid nicknames? You know that I don't mean it. That's not it. Then why are you asking? I just wanted to know. See, if my hate score was like a solid 9, it would have been easier for me to say certain things. Cause you already hate me, so I don't really have to regret making you hate me more by saying those things, but you said you don't hate me, so ruining a perfectly healthy friendship is going to hurt a lot. I don't really get your drunk logic, it's pretty confusing, but geez, Oikawa, I won't just go and start hating you for no good reason. We've been through so much together. I trust you more than anyone, so calm down, okay? Drink some water and go to sleep, okay? We can talk about this tomorrow. No. Yes. No. I'm serious, I won't have the courage to talk about this tomorrow. Kawa, you're a mess right now, let's talk about it once you've sobered up, okay? Shut up, Iwaizumi, I said I won't have the courage to talk about this tomorrow. Aikawa finally gave up on his staring contest and looked at Iwaizumi. Okay, okay, don't get so irritated. Iwaizumi, what's going on? We talk this through now, but then we're going to sleep, okay? Okay. Iwaizumi sat next to his friend who stayed silent for a few more moments before groaning in frustration. What's wrong now? You know what, I don't think I have the courage to say it today either. Aikawa, you're making this a lot more complicated than it actually has to be. Might as well just show you without words then. What are you mumbling for? I can't hear you if you don't talk louder. Aikawa leaned forward to kiss Iwaizumi's lips. It took him a few moments to understand what was happening and by the time his brain comprehended, Aikawa had already pulled back. I'm waiting, Iwaizumi. Iwaizumi blinked, visibly confused. For what? For you to smack me, yell at me, tell me what a worthless loser I am, I don't know. Iwaizumi raised his left hand, smacking Oikawa against the head. Iwaizumi, what the hell? I don't ever want to hear you call me by my last name again, Toru. Eh? It's Hachime. Huh? What? You want me to spell it for you? H-A-J. I know how to spell your name, Iwachan, but still, what? Hajime. 
Why are you forcing me to call you by your first name all of a sudden? Because you don't call your boyfriend by his last name. And why are you yelling... Boyfriend? Did you just say boyfriend? Yeah, I mean you kissed me so I assume you like me and I like you too. So that basically makes you my boyfriend, right? I... are you serious? 100% serious. Iwa-chan, Hajime, let's go to bed now, okay? I really think you should rest a bit. Can we cuddle before we sleep? Because I always wanted to cuddle with you. Um, yeah, sure. Great, well, let me just quickly do that. Do what? Oikawa pulled his phone out of his pocket and began to type. Iwaizumi leaned over his shoulder, curious of what Oikawa was typing. Dear diary, today Iwaizumi and I finally started going out. Dear diary? Wow, that. Iwa-chan, don't read that. Oh my god, it's Hajime. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Matsukawa Issei. Yes? Is it... Is it fate that brought us together today? No, it's your drunk ass that called me. I knew it. There is, after all, no escape from destiny. Alright, time to get you undrunk. Maki gasped. But at what cost? Maki, you close your eyes, let your body do its magic, and when you wake up, boom, you're sober, it's completely free. How boring. Hey, do you think I could climb that tree? What tree? Oh my god, Maki, get down there. I... I don't know how... Matsun, help! The tree isn't even that tall, just jump down. I mean, you managed to climb up in a second, so you'll be fine. Well, if taken his drunkness into consideration, maybe he'll not be fine. Okay, take my hand. No. Maki, I'm not asking you to marry me. I'm asking you to take my hand so you won't fucking stumble over your own feet and break your nose or some shit while attempting to get back down. No. I'm just trying to save your pretty face here. Hanamaki stared at his best friend before jumping from the tree. But, of course, just like Matsukawa had already anticipated, Maki lost his balance. Matsun leaped forward, trying to grab onto his friend's arm, but it was too late and the two friends dropped onto the ground. Ouch, man, that hurt. Are you okay? Yeah. Then get off of me. Hey, that's really rude considering I'm your boyfriend. We're fake dating, Maki. Oh my god, we're fake dating, Maki. This is so flipping annoying. Do you actually realize how much it hurts me to hear this shit over and over again? Maki, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about? Bitch, I put up with this fake dating shit because I want to be close to you, because I know you won't ever love me more than a friend. Despite hurting so much, I keep trying to protect you from that stalker girl. Just how clueless are you? Do you really think I wanted to kiss you back then? I mean, yeah, I thought I wanted to, but... Did you really have to wipe my kiss and say, Ew, I need to brush my teeth? Sometimes I just want to punch you in the face, seriously. Am I really that disgusting? I just want you to love me, but I know that isn't going to happen. And I don't know how much longer my heart can deal with this. Maki, no, you, I... You're not disgusting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I made you feel this way. Yeah, I'm fucking sorry too. Maki's lips smashed against Matsun's. It only lasted for a second or two before he backed up with tears in his eyes. I hate you, Matsukawa Issei. Hanamaki finally got off his friend, but Matsun pulled him back into the ground before he had the chance to get back onto his feet. I love you. Yeah, screw you. Look, Maki, I'm serious. I know we weren't dating for real, but do you really think that I would have fake dated anyone but you? I just agreed because this way at least I could pretend to be your boyfriend. I can't tell if you're being serious now or not. It's too much for my drunk brain to comprehend. Matsun laughed before he leaned into a kiss. He nearly missed and his nose bumped against Maki's. Hey, what's going on here? The next day, at Seijo's group chat. And this is how we ended up at the police station at 2am. Oh my god, 